Welcome to First United Methodist Church. My name is Mike, and I'd like to tell you a little bit about First United Methodist Church in the heart of downtown Salt Lake City. We're at 2nd and 2nd, and this building was built in 1905 and 1906. The architect was Frederick Albert Hale, who was a prominent architect at the turn of the century. He built many of the buildings on South Temple, and this is the only church building that he built in Utah. The building was paid off by J.C. Penney, dedicating it in the memory of his wife at the time who had recently passed away after a move from uh, Kemmerer, Wyoming to open up the J.C. Penney Company. J.C. Penney and his wife both attended here for a short time. The sanctuary itself is original to the building. The stained glass windows in the building are original and they were named after people who made their first donations to this church. Each of the stained glass windows are depicting scenes from the life of Christ. This one in particular behind me is known as the resurrection, depicting uh, the angel at the open tomb with Mary Magdalene. The other two stained glass windows are known as the Good Shepherd and the Light of the World. The mosaic on the south wall of the sanctuary is made up of 1,500 individual pieces of glass with 60 different colors of glass. It was put in in 1962. With the sanctuary, we plan to return it back to the 1906 design, where it will be an open altar space. The pipes will have an organ case that will be similar to what it had in the original design with matching of the stained glass windows. It will also become a space for our community events so that they will be able to have uh, performances. Events that we have hosted in the past have included uh, Lex de Azevedo's Millennial Choir. We've hosted the Wesleyan Bell Ringers. Both groups in particular have been very crowded in the current space. And with it opening up, this will allow large choirs like that to be able to perform together rather than in um, multiple places. We'll continue our Wesleyan Sermon Organ Recital Series after this is done to continue to promote uh, the historicity of this organ and being able to have, give opportunity for community organists to participate uh, locally on this organ in a recital fashion.